Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to apply a glass effect to text. First you will need a background image. I am using this image of a broken piece of glass. The goal is to pick something that will complement the glass effect. The next step would be to add some text. Before adding the text, make sure the foreground color is set to black. A simple way to set the foreground color to black is to press the D key. Once the foreground color is set to black, you can add the text. Select the type tool from the toolbar. Then from the top menu bar, choose a font. I am going to choose the Black Oak standard regular font. Click the image and you should see the text cursor. You can now type your text. Now we are going to resize the text. Click edit. Select Transform, click Scale. The text should now be selected. To resize the text, move your cursor over one of the anchor points and your cursor should turn to a double-headed arrow. Click and hold the left mouse button and drag the double-headed arrow cursor to resize the text. You can also move the text by clicking on the text and holding the left mouse button and dragging the text. After you finish resizing and moving your text, press the enter key. You should now have a text layer in the layer panel. Select the text layer and change the fill to 0%. Now we need to duplicate the text layer three times. To do this, select the text layer and press Ctrl J three times. If you are using a Mac, you would press Command J. You should now have a total of four text layers. To keep things organized, we are going to rename the text layers. We are going to rename the layers Effect 1, 2, 3, and 4, with the original text layer being Effect 1. To rename the layers, double click the layer name and rename the layer. Also rename the other text layers. After you finish renaming the text layers, turn off the visibility of all the layers except for the background layer and the effect one layer. To turn off the visibility, click the eye icon next to the layers. To get the glass effect, we are going to be using a combination of different layer styles. Select the effect layer 1. After the effect layer 1 is selected, click the add layer style icon. Select Bevel and Emboss. Set the style to Inner Bevel. Set the technique to Smooth. Set the depth to 75%. Make sure Up is selected for direction. Set the size to 12 pixel. Set Soft to 0 pixel. Under Shading, set the angle to 150 degrees. Uncheck, use Global Light. Set the Altitude to 40 degrees. Set the Gloss Contour to Cone Inverted. Make sure Anti-Alias is checked. Set the Highlight Mode to Screen. Click on the color palette next to the highlight mode. Use the color picker and pick a color from your background image and click OK. Set the opacity to 100%. Set the shadow mode to multiply and the color to black. 
set the opacity to 15%. With the layer style window still open, select Contour. Check Anti-Alias. Set the range to 75%. Then select Stroke. Under Structure, set the size to 3 pixels. Set the position to Outside. Set the Blend Mode to Normal. Change the Opacity to 70%. Change the fill mode type to gradient. We are now going to adjust the gradient. Double click on the gradient. We now need to add three color stops. To add a color stop, click on the bottom of the gradient. Now change the colors of the following color stops. To change the color, click the color stop, then click the color palette to change the color of the selected stop. If you need to delete the color stop, select the color stop and press the delete key. Change the gradient colors so it looks like this. Then click OK. Then select Inner Shadow. Set the blend mode to multiply. Set the opacity to 50%. Set the angle to minus 135 degrees. Make sure Use Global Light is checked. Set the distance to 8. Set the choke to 0 degrees. Set the size to 8. Now select Drop Shadow. Set the Blend Mode to Multiply. Set the Opacity to 50%. Set the angle to 135 degrees. Uncheck the Use Global Light. Set the distance to 23. Set the choke to 0 degrees. Set the size to 19. Then click OK. Now we are going to work on the Effect Layer 2. Select the layer. Then turn on the visibility by clicking the eye icon. Once the effect layer 2 is visible, make sure the layer is still selected. Then click the add layer style icon. Select bevel and emboss. Set the style to inner bevel. Set the technique to smooth. Set the depth to 35%. Make sure up is selected for the direction. Set the size to 8 pixel. Set the softening to 0 pixel. For the shading, set the angle to 30 degrees. Uncheck Use Global Light. Set the altitude to 30 degrees. Set the gloss contour to linear. Check Anti Alias. Set the highlight mode to screen and the color to white. Set the opacity to 100%. Set the shadow mode to multiply and the color to black. Change the opacity to 0%. Then click OK. Now we are going to work on the effect free layer. Select the layer, then turn on the visibility of the effect free layer by clicking the eye icon. Once the visibility is turned on, Click the Add Layer Style icon. Select Bevel and Emboss. Set the style to Inner Bevel. Set the Technique to Smooth. Set the Depth to 
Make sure up is selected for the direction. Set the size to 8 pixel. Set softening to 4 pixels. For the shading, set the angle to minus 135 degrees. Check use global light. Set the altitude to 50 degrees. Set the gloss contour to linear. Check anti-alias. Set the highlight mode to screen and the color to white. Set the opacity to 100%. Set the shadow mode to multiply and the color to black. Change the opacity to 0%. Click contour. Set the contour to half round. Check anti-alias. Set the range to 30%. Then click OK. Now we are going to work on the effect for layer. Select the layer, then turn on the visibility by clicking the eye icon. Once the layer is visible, click the add layer style icon. Select bevel and emboss. Set the style to inner bevel. Set the technique to smooth. Set the depth to 250%. Make sure down is selected for the direction. Set the size to 16 pixel. Set the softening to 0 pixel. For the shading, set the angle to minus 135 degrees. Check use global light. Set the altitude to 50 degrees. Set the gloss contour to linear. Check anti-alias. Set the highlight mode to screen and the color to white. Set the opacity to 100%. Set the shadow mode to multiply and the color to black. Change the opacity to 0%. Click contour. Set the contour to half round. Check anti-alias. Set the range to 30%, then click OK. Your text should now have a nice glass effect. If you have not done so already, please consider subscribing for weekly Photoshop tutorial. Thanks for watching.